Previously on The Potentialists. I always like day two better. So, are you guys ready to get energized? Yes or no? Yeah. Now, let's talk about this. The crazier you are, the bigger your success. Yeah. The person who Bert gets as a volunteer doesn't know yet is going to be eating fire. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. One of the concerns that I had a couple of years ago was that my son was severely obese. So as a mom, it really shatters your heart when you see your son that's not participating in any activities or you know, just really a homebody and not doing much of anything. Because of his excessive weight and the fact that we have tried so many different things to get him to lose weight, we tried personal trainers, we tried diets, nutritionists, encouraging him, we tried changing our eating habits and nothing worked. That day we were doing all the pre-checks to be able to see if I was able to actually have the surgery done. Now take a big breath in, fast, fast, all the way in. He's always had great energy and a lot of people always knew who he was. I was really more excited than anything because I knew how much his life was going to change. Very teeny tiny steps and there was a lot of pain involved with it afterwards. Eventually when he got over that and the weight was just shedding off of him, his self-confidence, you could just see it going up right away. But nowadays, it, I don't even see him. He's always playing soccer or longboarding or going to the gym. He has even taken a role of loving fitness. It's like the complete opposite of exactly who he was and what I was worried about before. Today is actually completely different. Um, on a daily basis, I actually end up going to the gym. So we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the curls and then jump straight into push-ups and start doing map push-ups. I love going to the gym nowadays because of the weight loss. It just it sparked up an interest in the gym just because I saw how rapidly I was losing the weight. I'm always here, like later on today, I even got some friends to come with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually train her. I even help my friends, and I get my friends to get in better shape as well. As we saw the direction Miles was going, we decided to bring him to a longtime friend. Jim Sai is a very old friend of Bert and myself, and we've known him for probably a decade or more, and he is an ex-SWAT member. He's always been into fitness. He has this company called 911 Fitness. Now he has 911 CrossFit. I took Miles to that gym because we seen Jim's professionalism, his dedication to the fitness world, and the heart that this man has. Why wouldn't you want to learn from somebody who's at the top of the chain? And he actually does contests all over the world with all the police department and fire Look, department. Look, there's police there. Mm -hmm. There's a police officer. Right next to him. Well, this area back here is called our dungeon. High level cross training, power lifting, Olympic lifting, and adventure racing type of anything. Movements and skills that help develop your strength in your grip and in your core. Here we have the Spartan Race wall, teaching athletes who want to compete in the Spartan Race how to climb a wall effectively and fast and safely. We have lots of ropes here to develop core strength and grip strength. Well, the people back here, they're, they're getting ready to do a boot camp workout. And this is exclusively for women who are getting ready to do a lot of different core, hips, legs, and ab work. It was really nice seeing Miles get inspired, so much so that he wanted to try out some workouts. I can't hold myself up with one hand. Because the leg is wrapped around so nicely, it's holding me here. Then when you're ready to go again, just pull up, lock it out again, and step on it. He's a physical therapist, and he is also a crossfitter. And you're noticing that they're dropping the weight. The weight is all rubber, and the floor is rubber. So they can drop it and there will be no damage. And we're always taking pictures of members that compete in our competition, along with 500 other athletes nationwide that fly to our competition. This is exciting, this is what I want to do. Yeah? This is exactly what I want to do. I want to have my own gym like this. I'm excited to start my CBT training at the CrossFit gym. That gym is phenomenal, I love it. Hopefully I can get one like that. But like I come in here and I see all these people and they're all fit and they're all climbing ropes and things like that and it's a little intimidating for somebody like me. But that's not what I see. What I see, I see all their different levels. 27 pounds lighter. I'm off my blood pressure pills. I'm off everything. The guys that 
influenced me to come in here, I now train them when I'm working. I do miniature workouts and stuff for them. And everybody has their level. Everybody has their speed. Everybody has their ability. Everybody has their own uniqueness. The healthiest and strongest I have ever been in my life. And that's the beauty of this type of workout. You may lift this tire, I may go and lift a smaller tire over there, but tomorrow you and I may do something on the monkey bars, and I may be flying up and down the monkey bar, and so you, you may not. So you personally train uh, the people as they come in, or you have special trainers? Or we have 11 trainers here. All of our trainers are degreed and certified, so they're very well-rounded, not just in their hands and bodies, but they're well-rounded here. After seeing the 911 CrossFit gym, Miles now wanted to know what it would take to get certified. Before you can become a foot doctor, you gotta be an MD. Then you learn the specialty of foot. Then you learn the specialty of dermatology or optometry, whatever. And that's how, that's how fitness is. You get a manual and you learn um, the different movements, the basic, the, the five components of fitness, as well as cardiovascular work and um, it's, it's a pretty lengthy curriculum. And then uh, you take a 100 question exam, you have to demonstrate um, your proficiency in practical movements and you receive a national certification. Absolutely a big treat. I mean, seeing all those great activities and all those people getting fit and everything and I only wish that I could do that, uh, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, not right at this moment in my life, but as soon as I heal, I definitely want to go spend some time at CrossFit. And Jim is amazing. I can't really wait to, to be able to start my classes with him and get my personal training certification. Whoa! Hi, I'm Dylan. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe so you can make it happen with Bow World.